From Albert Einstein's stimulated emission theory came a method of amplifying light into a single beam, the laser. At Sandia and Lawrence Livermore National Laboratories, a closely knit team of scientists and engineers has produced Z-Beamlet, the third largest laser in the world and a valuable diagnostic tool for research in controlled nuclear fusion. Sandia's fusion research accelerator, the Z-Pinch machine, is bringing hopes of achieving controlled nuclear fusion a step closer. The Z-machine funnels a massive amount of electrical energy into a tiny cage of tungsten wires. The wires implode in a fiery vapor, creating an exceedingly brief burst of energy with the force of an earthquake. Because the burst is so bright, the X-rays so intense, and the event so fleeting, there's been no way to capture an X-ray image of exactly what happens, until now. Z-Beamlet is a piece of an elaborate X-ray camera, which uses an exquisitely timed burst of intense laser light to create X-rays for imaging the event. It's comparable to a medical procedure, where a machine flashes an X-ray through body tissue to create an image on film. The laser pulse travels 225 feet from its initiation to hit a spot at the Z machine about the diameter of a human hair in a time duration of less than a billionth of a second. Reaching this level of precision has required significant technical innovation, including the transformation of a Sandia warehouse and disassembly of the laser from its original base at Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory. When Beamlet arrived at Sandia, its new home was a temperature-controlled facility with clean room conditions surpassing those found in a hospital surgical suite. It was about to be tied to the Z machine, the world's most powerful electrical device, and begin a new life as Z Beamlet. The journey of a laser pulse begins in the master oscillator room. As perfect a seed pulse as possible is developed, and at a tenth of a watt is about the power of a single bulb on a strand of lights. The pulse serves as a metronome, keeping continuous and precise time so other components of the system can synchronize events. The pulse travels through optical fiber out of the master oscillator room to a ring amplifier. Here it's trapped for a time by a light gate called a Pockels cell so it can circuit the ring 19 times for amplification before being released. The pulse continues to increase in size and energy by going through amplifiers and filters. After the ring amplifier, it will be amplified two times in the rod amplifier and the main amplifiers, and filtered eight times. As the pulse travels through Z-beamlet, it becomes a powerful avalanche of light, amplified by special laser slabs and refined and controlled by polarizers, mirrors, and other filters. In preparation for the arrival of the pulse, massive capacitor banks charge up to fire flash lamps that convert 4.7 million joules of electrical energy into laser amplifying light. Now a high energy kilojoule class laser, it's reflected by a massive periscope to the 16 foot level the height required to cross over to the Z-machine. Nearing the end of its journey, the pulse passes through a massive 37 centimeter square crystal that converts its infrared light to green, a small miracle of nonlinear optics in its own right. The pulse is then deflected through a two-foot diameter evacuated tube connecting the Z-beamlet and Z-machine buildings. For a brief instant in time, the power of the laser pulse increases from one-tenth of a watt, a single bulb on a strand of lights, to more than a trillion watts, nearly the total power production of all the electrical generating facilities on Earth. It's focused on a piece of iron foil, producing X-rays which flash through the compressing Z-pinch, exposing a piece of X-ray film, the first images ever of Z-pinch compression. 
To enable scientists to take an X-ray movie of experiments on the Z-machine, a so-called picket fence configuration or train of four laser pulses can be generated, much the same way photographers capture action with a strobe light that fires in rapid succession. Only this is nearly a million times faster. All the project's achievements contribute to the remarkable instant in which a Z-pinch event is captured. The ability to document this moment will make it possible to refine and perfect the use of the Z-machine, progressing toward the goal of maintaining the safety, security, and reliability of the nation's nuclear stockpile. The Z-beamlet facility is a significant resource in the advance of high-energy density science, contributing to the challenging National Nuclear Security Agency's stockpile stewardship mission. Innovative minds will always seek a deeper understanding of the elusive nature and complexity of light. And scientists and engineers will continue developing tools based on these ideas.